Hey guys, thanks for tuning on in for today's video. If you are new, hey, thank you for stopping on by. That's super awesome of you. If you're not new, hey, what's up, what's good? Thank you for coming on back. I have a stack, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I have a stack of ColourPop palettes and today we're going to be doing a look with the Orange You Glad palette because I think this one came out recently. And I also bought a collection, which I threw out the, it's the Becky G collection. Um, I also have this orange, this purple, and this blue, and this yellow color <laughs> that I kind of want to use. But this is the Orange You Glad palette. So I'm going to open it up. Open her up. This is what she looks like, so you guys can see. There are nine shades. There are two shimmers, one chunky glitter, and the rest are mattes. So I need to find some eyeshadow primer. I'm just gonna use concealer, I think. And just, I already, I went to a job interview, so. My makeup, my base is done. I didn't wear any eyeshadow though. So I'm gonna do my eyes and then wash my face before I go to the movies. And we'll see how this goes. I have not done like real eye makeup in a minute, y'all. So we're gonna do a beginner friendly look. Per use, beginner friendly. All right, and then I'm gonna go over that with a little bit of powder. Actually, we're gonna go in, no, 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 no. All right, cool. We're gonna go in with the shade Zested, this color, all over the lid. I'm not quite packing it on. I just want a good base. So hopefully you guys can see me. I'm trying to get into the swing of things. Let me scoot down some. So yeah, you can see it a little bit on my eye. Not too much fallout, really none. Fallout doesn't necessarily bother me unless it's like insane. And then I like wipe it under my eye and it gets everywhere. So that is this shade Zestead. Next, we're going, oh, what kind of look do I want to do? We're going to go in with this next. Not quite in the crease, like a little bit. So yeah, no, a little bit above the crease. I have no idea what look I'm going to do. We're just going to play around. That's pretty. Okay. That on there. So hopefully you guys are doing well. By now, if you haven't, check out one of my vlogs. I'm vlogging now. I think I'm more interesting than I realize. I'm interesting on Instagram, so I figured I'd be interesting on YouTube. I'm just gonna go back in one more time. I'm not someone that like packs on color. I like looks that are more wearable for me. And I don't wear a lot of makeup anymore, which is why you guys don't see a lot of makeup videos, but I do like makeup. Still enjoy it. Okay. You can't really see that too, too much. I'm gonna go in a third time and I am gonna pack it on just so it shows up. And I'm also lazy with brushes. I hate using more than one brush, but for this video, I will. <laughs> All right, so next I'm gonna go in with this more, where is it at? Where's she at? All right, I'm looking for a good brush to go in with. Uh, we'll use this one. This is a double-ended brush from the Naked Heat palette. I'm gonna go in with a combination of, we'll start with the Appeal Me, and then I'm gonna go over it with Rise and Grind, but I'm gonna do the darker color first, directly. Oh, that's pigmented. In the crease. I'm really hoping my mom doesn't call me back right now. I want her to call me. I wanna talk to my mom, just not this second. So I'm gonna put that on the top like part of the crease and that out it's a little rough not gonna lie it's a little hard to blend out okay we're getting somewhere i have small almond eyes this isn't necessarily deep enough in my opinion but we're gonna make it work. This is the deepest shade in the palette. So we're gonna make it work. And I'm gonna turn my brightness down just a little bit. So you guys can see what I see. Oops. 
All right, so I'm going with this fluffy brush and just kind of, I put a little bit more on this side so you can definitely see it. All right, next I'm gonna go in with Rise and Grind, this color right here. I packed it on and I'm gonna go just a little bit underneath that. It's almost kind of neon-y. That's not a word. Oh well. And I think I'm gonna bring it in on the outer V. Just kind of like pack that on. Start setting up a nice little base. So I have my brush angled down so it's not as in the crease as the last color we just used. Kind of feel like one of those um, orange sickles. <laughs> And then on the outer V, I'm going to take the other side of this. I'm going to go back into your peel me. Go in on the outer V. I'm trying to use as many colors as possible in the palette. Again, put that over here. It's not quite an orange smoky eye. I'm trying to not pull in any other co colors. Oh, excuse me, colors from the palette other palette. So next I'm going to go in with Sunkissed, other side of that brush, pop it all over the lid. This side. One side is way more pigmented than the other. Okay. Try that again. And then I'm going to do inner corner. This is a little thick. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. And I'm gonna pack that on. Hopefully you guys can see that. This is a little chalky. Bring it under the eye, kind of do a little bit of a sweeping motion under the eye. I'll just do it all under the eye. Pack that on. Woo. She's pigmented, but she's also a little chalky you guys can see that and then pack that on as a base over my bags I'm gonna pack it a little bit more on this side I'm not a makeup artist I just like makeup <laughs> okay so the last three colors I haven't used are squeeze me tangerine dream and clementine so I'm gonna go with squeeze me and tangerine dream under my eye and i just got and cannot find a new morphe brush that i bought specifically for this occasion i have to find it though i i have no idea where i put it okay this is really sad um it was an angled brush and this low key depresses me. All right, we're gonna go in with this pixie brush. <laughs> Why do I pay for things and then can't find it? All right, we're gonna go in with Squeeze Me right. We're gonna layer both. So I'm just gonna start packing it on and then kind of brushing downward just a little bit. I'm gonna have to redo my bottom mascara. Trying not to like have my mouth open <laughs> while I do this. Can you guys see that? It's very light. I'm almost tight lining a little bit. Not to like pull my eye down and gross you guys out, but. Ooh. There we go. Now you can see it. It's like in my eye. Okay, that burns. I'm not the best at doing like my bottom. Ugh. Yeah, I definitely got some of that in my eye. Okay, but next I'm gonna go in with Tangerine Dream on this side. There's no fallout or anything. I'm just being a little ridiculous. I'm gonna go underneath it. You can't really see it all that much. Pack on a little bit more. You guys can see. You can't really see it. 
This is what this color looks like. It's like really light. I'm trying to jazz it up and do like something poppy under the eye. You can't really see it. All right, I'm gonna do the other eye and figure out a different strategy. So I just mix the two of them together. Oh, sugar. <laughs> definitely about to swear yeah that's like in my eye sorry don't thumbs us down <laughs> all right that doesn't look great I don't love that but to make it better I'm gonna go in with the same pixie brush and I'm going to go in with this bright color right here called Mimosa Mommy. And I'm going to pack that under the eye. Kind of right on top of it. <laughs> like that didn't even happen. Connect that with the inner corner. Other side. Yeah, that glitter under the eye was a bit of a fail. But, you know, you live and you learn. This is why it's beginner friendly because I'm beginner friendly. And then next we're going to go in with Clementine, this middle color. I'm just going to pack this on in the middle. The best way to use this, it's like chunky, chunky glitter. I don't want to wet my brush, but I'm probably going to have to. And I have glitter glue. I don't actually like these like crystal like shades that they're putting in each of these palettes. Like it's pretty, it's got nice shift to it, but glitter this chunky should not be near one's eyeballs in my opinion. So I'm just packing it down. Just right in the middle. All right, I feel like to round out this look, I am gonna take the shimmery shades and put them in my inner corner. So the two fails, that one and that one, gonna put it in my inner corner just to make the look pop a little bit more. All right, so next I'm gonna do my eyeliner on camera, which is very scary for me. This is a CoverGirl mascara. I don't know what color that is, that's blue. We're not doing that. <laughs> it's canceled. All right, next, okay, yes, we're gonna, I'm gonna use a crayon. It's not a crayon, <laughs> it's coal eyeliner. <laughs> Let me not call it a crayon. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go in with this and just like tight line it. I'm not doing a wing or anything. I don't feel, I don't trust my skills right now. You feel me? I think a cat eye would be beautiful with this. Again, just it's a lack of trust in myself that prevents me from doing that. Okay, this brush is also not sharp enough. Um, let me go in. All right, I will attempt to do one. I will make an attempt. This is the Balm Cosmetics Schwing Eyeliner. I think this would look better with a cat eye. Okay. All right, I do have one coat of mascara on. I'm gonna go in with another coat. This is the Chanel Volumizing Mascara. It's amazing. It's my absolute favorite. And then zhuzh it out on the bottom, like so. I have coffee brewing. <laughs> I really want my coffee right now, but I gotta paint my nails. I gotta get situated so I can paint my nails. Whoops. And then to complete the look, I don't think I have any orange blush. Okay, let's get jazzy. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna go back into the palette. I'm gonna use one of these colors as a blush. I'm gonna go in with this shade, Rise and Grind as a blush 
just stick with me guys <laughs> stick with me on my journey <laughs> and just do a really really light wash like a blush and then I'm going to that's the video no I'm kidding <laughs> swirl it and dust it out swirl it and dust it out You can definitely still see where I put it, but it looks a little bit better. <laughs> and then I have the Sephora. I don't like, unless, I mean, they changed the formula, but I haven't tried it. I don't like ColourPop lippies. This is a Sephora lip tint in the shade Orange. So that's the look. Okay, monochromatic looks. I see you. All right, this is cute. I would like leave the house looking like this, which is saying a lot because like I said, I don't wear makeup, but this is very beginner friendly. So I'm hoping that you liked it. Hopefully this was a good showing of the palette. I tried to use all the colors. I think I did. Let me know if you want to pick this up. If you have picked this up, I did get two cream gel liners. I don't know if these are for lips or eyes. I think they're for eyes. I haven't used these yet. I might use these in another video, but this is what they look like. This is, I'm frowning. <laughs> That's the shade Get Paid, ow. Um, and this is the shade Besto. Oh, all right, that's a silly name. I think these are for your eyes, I think. Yeah, my mascara is already on, but I might've lined my bottom lash with this. So that's the look, you guys. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also give it a thumbs up if you want to see any of the other color pops. There are two more sitting on the table. Um, I did pick up most of the new collection. I don't have the strawberry one. I just, it came out after I submitted my order and I didn't feel compelled anyways after looking at it. So I'm just cleaning my brushes. Um, so yeah, let me know if that's something you're interested in. Also comment down below which palette you want to see and I'll work on that video next. But hopefully you guys will enjoy all of my new content that I'm coming out with, some vlogs, I've got some coaching stuff. Check me out on Instagram for daily, sometimes every other day, <laughs> inspiration. But here we go, this is the look. And enjoy your day, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Bye guys.